Shashir with another video on Easy Math. Today we are going to learn about differentiation of implicit functions. First, what are implicit functions? We discussed implicit functions in our videos on functions. Implicit function means a function with more than one variables. A function with more than one variables are called as implicit functions. And the other thing is that they shouldn't be simplif simplified, means they should not be able to sim be simplified. If they are simplified, they are called as explicit functions. Means for example, if you take the equation x is equal to or square root of 1 plus y minus x. If you take the equation square root of 1 plus y minus x is equal to 0, then you can simplify that like square root of 1 plus y minus x is equal to 0 right means square root of 1 plus y is equal to x means 1 plus y is equal to x square or x square is x y is equal to x square minus 1 you have simplified that in terms of y means you show you have shown y in terms of x means you have shown one variable in terms of the other variable if you can show like that those are called as explicit functions but there are some equations like circle equation x square plus y square is equal to 1 or something a square x square plus y square is equal to a square you cannot show that in other way means x square plus y square is equal to a square right means you may think you can send x to that side and square to that side then it becomes square root of a square minus x square but the square root have only the possible values of only positive square root will have only positive values okay it have negative values also but Generally, we will represent only positive values. So, the graph is only possible at the positive x or positive y axis. So, the curve is not explicit because we have only the half circle. So, such equations are implicit functions. The relation between variables x and y are given by equation contains both this equation and is not containing equation should contain both x and y and that equation should not be immediately solvable for y means it should not be immediately solved means easy to solve for y and such function is called implicit function of x now how to represent them it is represented by phi of or f of x comma y is equal to zero f of x comma y is a function in both x and y it has two variables now shortcut for finding the differentiation of implicit functions there is a normal traditional or general way of solving the differentiation of implicit functions that is you will dif differentiate them in the normal way but if we differentiate the y term, you will get dy by dx term extra. You can differentiate in that way. But there is another way which uses partial differentiation. Okay, you may think what is that? That is a new word. It may be difficult, but it is a simple one. Partial differentiation means dy by, d of, dy by dx of f of x comma y is equal to minus partial differential of f with respect to x by partial differential of f with respect to y now what are those partial differentials now partial differential of f with respect to x is nothing but finding the differential or differentiating at f with respect to x keeping y as a constant term it means y is a constant term y is not a variable anymore if you are doing with respect to x then y is not a variable anymore it is just a constant and partial differential of f with respect to y means differentiating the function f with respect to y keeping x as constant if we take with respect to y then x is constant with respect to x then y is constant and you should differentiate the whole function now let's see an example on it If y is equal to x cos y plus y cos x, then find dy by dx. y is equal to x cos y plus y cos x. Here you have two. Okay, first let's differentiate that in the general way. 
now y, y is equal to x cos y plus y sin y cos x right now differentiate on both sides differentiate with respect to x on both sides then you'll get dy by dx is equal to now here you'll have differential you should apply product rule for this right this is product of two functions so it is differential of x differential of x into cos y plus x into differential of cos y plus y into d by dx of cos x plus cos x into dy by dx right now what is this here d by dx of x is nothing but 1 dx by dx is nothing but 1 1 into cos y or cos y plus here you have differential of cos y is nothing but negative sin y right into here we have y terms right so we will get dy by dx or why we get dy by dx means you need explanation right if we differentiate cos y with respect to x there is no x variable right now we will use we will use the chain rule means d by dx of cos y is equal to d by dx of cos y into dy by dx d by dy of cos y into dy by dx so you'll get d by dy of cos y is nothing but negative sin y into dy by dx plus y into d by dx of cos x is nothing but minus sin x plus dy by dx into cos x you have the cos x term remaining now if we send all the dy terms to one side or to the LHS then you will get dy by dx into 1 plus x sin y 1 plus x sin y minus cos x is equal to cos y minus y sin x so dy by dx is cos y minus y sin x by 1 plus x sin y minus cos x or if we use partial differentials means here we can write like f is equal to x cos y plus y cos x minus y means we should get zero in one side f is equal to cos x co x cos y plus y cos x minus y now partial differential of f with respect to x is here cos y is constant because y is constant which results in cos y being a constant into d by dx of x which is nothing but 1 means cos y minus here y is a constant and differential of cos x is minus sin x so we will get minus y sin x and minus y differential of y is 0 because y is a constant now partial differential with respect to y is minus x sin y plus cos x minus here you have 1 right what here we have y y is not a constant in this case so you will get 1 you will get partial differential of y with respect to y which is nothing but 1 minus 1 so dy by dx is minus partial differential of f with respect to x by partial differential of x of f with respect to y means you will get minus cos y minus sin x y sin x by minus x sin y plus cos x minus 1 means it is nothing but cos y minus cos y minus y sin x by if we multiply the denominator with this minus you will get x sin y minus cos x plus 1 or 1 plus sin y x sin y minus cos x which is same as in case okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not comment on below why you haven't if you have any doubts comment on below i'll answer them in the next video